Well, as I tried to explain to the many people who asked this important question, Europe did not suffer over the last 30 years the atrophy of its labor movement the way we did in this country. They have functioning socialist, communist, and other parties that are strong and have large numbers of people supporting them. And whatever you think of their particular politics, this is an infrastructure. These are offices and staffs in cities and towns, and they can mobilize people, and they are mobilizing people, not just for the general strikes that have happened in more European countries in a shorter amount of time than in the history of that continent, to my knowledge. So it's an enormous ferment that's going on there. And if you look, for example, at the polls for the two strongest leaders in the two strongest governments, Sarkozy in France and Merkel in Germany, they're predicted to lose their next elections because the anger over austerity is the number one political shaping. So the interesting thing is we don't have those organizations, and therefore we can't mobilize what I suspect is a similar view, but that hasn't come to fruition in a way we can see. Mm -hmm.